Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series in digital signal processing. In this video lecture we shall consider a numerical determine the response of the following system to the input signal x of n is equal to magnitude of n for n varying from minus 3 to plus 3 and it is 0 otherwise. First a y of n is equal to x of n b y of n is equal to x of n minus 1 and c y of n is equal to x of n plus 1 and lastly d y of n is equal to 1 by 3 into bracket x of n plus 1 plus x of n plus x of n minus n. So let us start with the solution for this numerical. So what we shall do first? First let me define x of n. So let me write the samples of x of n as per the given numerical as per the definition. It is defined for the range minus 3 to plus 3. Uh, its value is magnitude of n. Say for example, at the 0th position, its amplitude is 0. At the position 1, its amplitude is 1. At the position 2, its amplitude is 2. At the position 3, its amplitude is 3. And 3 onwards, it is 0. Is that fine? So 0 is there forever. 0 is there forever. Similarly, for the value of minus 1 at the position minus 1, its amplitude is still 1 because it is magnitude of 1. And at the position minus 2, its amplitude is plus 2. And at the position minus 3, its amplitude is plus 3. Right? And at the position uh, minus 4, it is a 0 and a 0 and it is it continues till minus infinity. So this is how x of n has been defined. Once we define x of n, let me consider the very first system y of n is equal to x of n. So what does that mean? This system is known as an identity system. The system is known as an identity system. What does that mean? Output is the same as input. So let me write output is same as output is same as input. That means therefore the output y of n which is equal to I need to write the same thing. I hope you people are following it. 3, 2, 1 and here it is 0, 1, 2, 3 and few more zeros and it continues till infinity. So this is an identity system y of n is equal to x of n. Similarly moving further let me consider the second system. What is that? y of n is equal to x of n minus 1. What does x of n minus 1 mean? The system y of n system delays the input. n minus 1 means it is delay. System delays the input by how many sample? By one sample. System delays the input by one sample. For that what would be output y of n? Therefore y of n is equal to first let me write uh, the input x of n. Then I would write what is the delayed version of the input. This is 0, 1, 2, 3 and few more zeros. Yes, to understand this I have to identify, uh, I would write this an arrow mark over here. That means it is the value at 0th position. Here also it is the same thing. So now a delay element, delay element, it is delayed by one sample means I have to write that arrow mark to this element. So this is nothing but y of n is equal to x of n minus 1. Is that fine? So this is what a delayed uh, uh, version of x of n. Similarly moving further, see y of n which is equal to x of n plus 1 means what here the system 
system advances system advances the input the system advances the input by one sample again by one sample so what would be output y of n for that so for that let me indicate that let me write that y of n is equal to so first let me consider the same input then i would consider the advanced system 3 2 1 0 1 2 3 so if i uh, i just have to write few more zeros yes correct yes if i write arrow mark at this position it is an identity system if i write arrow mark here that means it is a delay system similarly if i want to indicate an advanced system that means an arrow mark must be at this position so such a system is an advanced system is that fine so similarly moving further i have to consider the last one d y of n this is equal to 1 by 3 into bracket we have x of n plus 1 plus x of n plus x of n minus 1 right so what is this system the output first try to understand the output e the output of the system the output of the system the output of the system is mean value is mean value of of what n plus 1 means it is future and uh, x of n means it is present and lastly x of n minus 1 means it is past past samples of the input right so this is what the system means that means if i want to find the value at n equal to 0 what must be y of n y of 0 is equal to 1 by 3 into bracket if i put 0 i would get x of 1 plus x of 0 plus x of minus 1 what are these values so if i go up and check at this this is x of 0 which is uh, 0 x of minus 1 it is a delay 1 x of n plus 1 that is x of 1 is also 1 here so that means i have to get 1 by 3 into bracket 1 plus 0 plus 1 that means i would get 2 by 3 as the first coefficient y of 0 similarly for n equal to 1 i have to move further i would get y of 1 what is y of 1 equal to 1 by 3 into bracket this time i'm going to get uh, i put n equal to 1 in this expression in the expression of y of n i'm going to get x of 2 plus x of 1 plus x of 0 so what are those values if i go up and check i'm going to get 2 plus 1 plus 0 so what is that going to be 3 by 3 which turns out to be 1 similarly for n equal to 2 i would get a y of 2 which is equal to 1 by 3 into bracket it is 3 plus 2 plus 1 so it is 6 by 3 turns out to be 2 similarly for n equal to 3 i am going to get y of 3 so what is this y of 3 1 by 3 into bracket i am going to get this time 0 plus 3 plus 2 it is 5 divided by 3 so i am going to get 5 divided by 3 similarly moving further for n equal to 4 i am going to get y of 4 which turns out to be 1 by 3 into bracket 0 plus 0 plus 3 so which is 3 by 3 turns out to be 
1 so ultimately I can write therefore y of n combining all together which turns out to be as I said for the zeroth position it is 2 by 3 for the 1 position it is y of 1 is 1 then I have 2 then I have 5 divided by 3 then I have 1 and afterwards it will be 0 forever this is for positive values of 1 for negative values of n again that also will be 1 2 by 3 then I have 1 then 2 then 5 divided by 3 then 1 then 0 so that is forever Z then 2 by 3 where is 2 by 3 2 by 3 this is the value at 0th position yes finally this is how y of n uh, looks like for the system D yes I have this is one of the very simplest numericals and I have explained this step by step I hope you people have understood if uh, you still have any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section and I'm happy to answer those doubts thank you so much for watching